she informed you that she had family in another part of Ohio? She did not provide me with that information, no. She never provided you? Excuse me, hold on a second. Your Honor, excuse me for a second. I need some time. We're going to take a break. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'll please step out. The record should reflect that the defendant is slouching over to the side and acts like he's sleeping. His breath appears to be quite normal. It doesn't appear to be labored in any way. Is that a fair assessment, sir? Yes. It's not labored in any manner? Yes, Your Honor. Does he appear to be doing anything to you other than sitting in that chair? No, Your Honor. Oh, a remarkable change. Thank you. Anything, Mr. Thompson? Mr. Wilkins, do you have any questions for this witness, sir? I'll take that as a no, sir. Thank you, sir. You may step down. Anyone else you wanted to inquire of? No, Your Honor. Mr. Thompson, as a friend of the court, I know I've placed you in a very difficult position. Is there anyone that you might want to question as a friend of the court? No, Your Honor. Mr. Wilkins, as I advised you yesterday, sir, your disruptive behavior was challenging your ability to continue to represent yourself. You've been checked out by trained deputies who are medics. You've been checked out by a registered nurse as well as an emergency medical technician, all of whom indicate that there is nothing physically wrong with you nor any reason why you couldn't continue here, sir. As I told you, sir, your constitutional right to represent yourself is not a license to abuse the dignity of the courtroom. Neither is it a license not to comply with the rules of procedure, the substantive rules, and it sounds like you're doing exactly what the witness indicated, Mr. Prigmore indicated you said you would do, which was to make some effort to cause a mistrial. But as I advised you, sir, and as the case law is very clear about, your behavior will not cause a mistrial. It certainly may have an effect on the jury. Sir, in five minutes I'm going to start again, with or without you. And if it's without you, it's because it's your choice, sir. I'm going to be back in the courtroom in five minutes. You can let me know if it's your choice to continue to participate, or if not, sir, if you cannot comply with the basic rules of courtroom dignity, then you will be removed from the courtroom, sir. I will advise the jury that it is your choice not to be present, that you are physically capable of being present, that you have been checked by medics who have indicated that there is nothing wrong with you or nothing that would prohibit you from continuing, and that this is your choice, and I will continue with closing arguments from the state. And I will assume then, sir, that you have waived your right to a closing argument. Anything further at this time, Mr. Brandt? Not from the state, Your Honor. Mr. Thompson is a friend of the court. No, Your Honor. Mr. Wilkins, five minutes from now I'll start again. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. 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 Th